Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com. Namaste and welcome to hindipod101.com. I'm Anuj Khurana and I'm back with yet another Hindi lesson for you all. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn 20 phrases which are must know if you are traveling. So let's begin. Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Do you speak English? Okay, so the another phrase is Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Which means Do you speak English? Kya hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Okay, so another phrase is Kya hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Kya wifi muft hai? Is wifi free here? Another interesting phrase which you should know is Kya wifi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Okay. Another phrase is Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Kya mein apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room another interesting phrase if you're not liking your room so then it can be kya main apna kamra badal sakta hu can i change my room maine apna reservation karwaya tha i did my reservations okay so this is important and in today's world you might need this a lot maine apna reservation karwaya tha मैंने अपना रिजर्वेशन करवाया था आई डेट माई रिजर्वेशन क्या मुझे मेन्यू मिल सकता है कैन आई गेट द मेन्यू प्लीज अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वन इफ यू आर वेस्टिंग अ रेस्टोरेंट क्या मुझे मेन्यू मिल सकता है कैन आई गेट द मेन्यू प्लीज सो दिस इज द वे ऑफ आस्किंग सजेशन आपकी राय में सबसे अच्छा क्या है डू यू हैव any recommendations okay so if you are looking for recommendations then this is the phrase for you aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai do you have any recommendations kya mujhe check mil sakta hai can i get a check please okay another phrase is kya mujhe check mil sakta hai can i get a check please mujhe moongfali se allergy hai i am allergic to peanuts so if you are allergic to anything you can just use this phrase mujhe dash the thing which you are allergic to say allergy hai for say you are you are allergic to peanuts then you can say it mujhe peanuts se allergy hai kripya pani de please give me some water another phrase is kripya pani de please give me some water ye kitne ka hai how much is it for if you want to ask someone that how much it is for then the phrase is ye kitne ka hai ye kitne ka hai how much is it for main ye 10 lena pasand karunga i would like to have 10 of these if you like something and you want that in numbers then this is the phrase for you main ye 10 lena pasand karunga I would like to have ten of these. ये मुझे पसंद है. I like it. If you like something, then this is the phrase. ये मुझे पसंद है. I like it. क्या आप मुझे थोड़ी छूट दे सकते हैं? Can you give me some discount? Okay. So it happens a lot here in India. People give you discounts. So if you want to ask for that, क्या आप मुझे थोड़ी छूट दे सकते हैं? Can you give me some discount? 
learn this phrase this will be helpful for you for your india visit for sure kya main credit card se bhugtan kar sakta hu can i make the payments by using my credit card okay if you want to just inquire that if you can make the payment using your credit card then this is the phrase kya main credit card se bhugtan kar sakta hu can i make the payments by using my credit card railway station kaha hai where is the railway station if you want to inquire about the railway station then railway station kaha hai where is the railway station maaf karna kitna fair hai excuse me what is the fair amount okay if you want to inquire about the fair then maaf karna kitna fair hai excuse me what is the fair amount kya aap meri ek tasveer kheench sakte hain can you please take a picture of mine okay so if you want to ask favor from someone that if they come and click your picture then this is the phrase kya aap meri ek tasveer kheench sakte hain can you please take a picture of mine so these were the phrases which will be definitely helpful for you if you are visiting india i hope you learned these phrases and enjoyed this video if you have any kind of suggestions please leave your valuable comments or feedback in the comment section and also like our channel which is hindi pod 101 you can also visit our website which is hindi pod 101.com and you can find many such videos over there i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be back with more videos till then stay tuned goodbye take care namaste You are at a bus terminal where you're attempting to buy a ticket from a ticket counter. There are four different counters. Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? Which counter should you line up at to go to the south side of the city? The third counter is the counter for bus tickets that go to the south side of the city. शहर के दक्षिण की तरफ You are at a bus terminal where you've just bought a long distance ticket. Which row and seat number are you in? Which row and seat number are you in? The ticket says that you're in the 8th row in seat C. 8thi pankti seat C. You are at a bus terminal where you're reading the schedule for long distance buses. On which days are there no buses running? On which days are there no buses running? There are no buses running on public holidays and the third Sunday of every month. Sarvajanik chuttiyon har mahine ke teesre ravivar ko. 
You are at a bus terminal where you're waiting for the 301 bus. There is a notice posted on the bus timetable. What does the notice say? What does the notice say? The notice reads, the 301 bus does not stop here. 301 number bus yaha nahi rukti. You just got off a bus at a bus terminal and you're looking to catch a taxi. Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? Which direction should you go to get to the taxi rank? You should head east to get to the taxi rank. Poor. Namaste and welcome to HindiPod101.com. I'm Anuj Khurana and I'm back with yet another Hindi lesson for you all. So in today's lesson, we are going to learn 20 phrases which I must know if you are traveling. So let's begin. Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya mujhe ek naksha mil sakta hai? Can I get a map? Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Do you speak English? Okay, so the another phrase is Kya aap angrezi bolte hai? Which means, do you speak English? Kya hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Okay, so another phrase is, Kya hawaii adde se shahar ke liye koi bus seva hai? Is there any bus service from airport to city? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Another interesting phrase which you should know is Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya Wi-Fi muft hai? Is Wi-Fi free here? Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room? For tonight? Okay. Another phrase is Kya aapke paas aaj raat ke liye ek khali kamra hai? Do you have a vacant room for tonight? Kya mein apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Another interesting phrase if you're not liking your room. So then it can be Kya mein apna kamra badal sakta hu? Can I change my room? Mene apna reservation karvaya tha. I did my reservations. Okay, so this is important and in today's world, you might need this a lot. Mene apna reservation karvaya tha. Mene apna reservation karvaya tha. I did my reservations. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? Another interesting one if you're visiting a restaurant. Kya mujhe menu mil sakta hai? Can I get the menu please? So this is the way of asking suggestions. Aapki rai mein sabse acha kya hai? Do you have any recommendations? Okay, so if you're looking for recommendations, then this is the phrase for you. Aapki rai mein sabse 
अच्छा क्या है डू यू हैव एनी रिकमेंडेशन क्या मुझे चेक मिल सकता है कैन आई गेट चेक प्लीज ओके अनदर फ्रेज इज क्या मुझे चेक मिल सकता है कैन आई गेट चेक प्लीज मुझे मूंगफली से एलर्जी है आई एम एलर्जिक टू पी नट्स सो इफ यू एलर्जिक टू एनी थिंग यू कैन जस्ट यूज दिस फ्रेज मुझे डैश द थिंग विच यू एलर्जिक टू से एलर्जी है फॉर से यू आर एलर्जिक टू पी नट्स देन यू कैन से इट मुझे पीनट से एलर्जी है कृपया पानी दें प्लीज गिव मी सम वॉटर अनदर फ्रेज इज कृपया पानी दें प्लीज गिव मी सम वॉटर ये कितने का है हाउ मच इज इट फोर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क समन दैट हाउ मच इट इज फोर देन द फ्रेज इज ये कितने का है ये कितने का है हाउ मच इज इट फोर मैं ये दस लेना पसंद करूंगा आई वु लाइक टू हैव टेन ऑफ दीज इफ यू लाइक समथिंग एंड यू वॉन्ट दैट इन नंबर दिस इज द फ्रेज फॉर यू मैं ये दस लेना पसंद करूंगा आई वु लाइक टू हैव टेन ऑफ दीज ये मुझे पसंद है आई लाइक इट इफ यू लाइक समथिंग देन दिस इज द फ्रेज ये मुझे पसंद है आई लाइक इट क्या आप मुझे थोड़ी छूट दे सकते हैं can you give me some discount okay so it happens a lot here in india people give you discounts so if you want to ask for that kya aap mujhe thodi chhoot de sakte hain can you give me some discount learn this phrase this will be helpful for you for your india visit for sure kya main credit card se bhugtan kar sakta hu can i make the payments by using my credit card Okay, if you want to just inquire that if you can make the payment using your credit card, then this is the phrase. क्या मैं क्रेडिट कार्ड से भुगतान कर सकता हूँ? Can I make the payments by using my credit card? Railway station कहाँ है? Where is the railway station? If you want to inquire about the railway station, then railway station कहाँ है? Where is the railway station? माफ करना कितना फेयर है? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? Okay, if you want to inquire about the fair, then माफ करना कितना fair है? Excuse me, what is the fair amount? क्या आप मेरी एक तस्वीर खींच सकते हैं? Can you please take a picture of mine? Okay, so if you want to ask favor from someone that if they come and click your picture, then this is the phrase. क्या आप मेरी एक तस्वीर खींच सकते हैं कैन यू प्लीज टेक अ पिक्चर ऑफ माई सो दीज वर द फ्रेजेस विच विल बी डेफिनेटली हेल्पफुल फॉर यू इफ यू आर विजिटिंग इंडिया आई होप यू लर्न दीज फ्रेजेस एंड एंजॉय दिस वीडियो इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ सजेशन प्लीज लीव योर वेल्यूएबल कमेंट्स और फीडबैक इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ऑल्सो लाइक आर चैनल विच इज हिंदी पॉड वन ओ वन यू कैन ऑल्सो विजिट आर वेबसाइट विच इज हिंदी पॉड 101.com and you can find many such videos over there i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll be back with more videos till then stay tuned goodbye take care namaste greetings everyone welcome back to hindipod101.com the easiest smartest and quickest way to learn hindi online my name is anuj khurana and i'm back with yet another lesson to learn more new hindi words So today we are going to discuss twenty words you will need for the beach. So let's start. Our first word is "dhup ka chashma," sunglasses. "Dhup ka chashma," "dhup ka chashma," which means sunglasses. Ye mera naya dhup ka chashma hai. These are my new sunglasses. Samundra tat, beach. Moving on to the next word, which is samundr tat. Samundr tat, which means beach. मुझे समुद्र तट पर जाना बहुत पसंद है. I love going to the beach. Teraki, swimming. So our next word is teraki. Teraki, which means swimming. Teraki एक बहुत ही अच्छा व्यायाम है. 
स्विमिंग इज अ वेरी गुड एक्सरसाइज तैराकी स्विमिंग सूरज और सूर्य सन सूरज सूरज और सूर्य विच मीन्स सन हिंदू सूर्य भगवान की पूजा करते हैं हिंदू वर्षिप सन गॉड सूर्य और सूरज विच मीन्स सन ताड़ का वृक्ष पाम ट्री नेक्स्ट वर्ड आर ताड़ का वृक्ष ताड़ का वृक्ष विच मीन्स पाम ट्रीज केरला में ताड़ का वृक्ष एक आम दृश्य है पाम ट्रीज आर अ कॉमन साइट इन केरला ताड़ का वृक्ष पाम ट्रीज सीप सीशल नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज सीप सीप विच मीन्स सीशल सजावट के लिए सीप को इकट्ठा किया जाता है सी शेल्स आर कलेक्टेड फॉर डेकोरेशन स्विमिंग सूट स्विमिंग सूट मूवी ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज स्विमिंग सूट विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज स्विमिंग सूट इन हिंदी तैराकी के लिए स्विमिंग सूट होना जरूरी है स्विमिंग सूट इज अ मस्ट फॉर स्विमिंग महासागर ओशियन मूविंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज महासागर महासागर विच मीन्स ओशियन शार्क मछली महासागर में तैर रही है शार्क्स आर स्विमिंग इन दी ओशियन महासागर ओशियन लाइफ गार्ड लाइफ गार्ड नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज लाइफ गार्ड विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज लाइफ गार्ड इन हिंदी लाइफ गार्ड समुद्र तट पर सुरक्षा के लिए तैनात है लाइफ गार्ड आर स्टेशन एट बीच for the protection of people life guard in hindi life guard in english jet ski is also known as jet ski our next word is jet ski which is again same in hindi jet ski samundra tat par manoranjan ki gatividhiyon mein se ek gatividhi hai jet ski out of many fun activities at beach jet ski is one of them So jet skiing in Hindi, jet skiing in English also. Samund tat tolia, beach towel. Samund tat tolia, which means a beach towel. Samund tat tolia. आपके पास एक समुद्र तट तौलिया होना अनिवार्य है. Is it a must for you to have a beach towel? समुद्र तट पर लगी कुर्सी, beach chair. A next word is samundra tat kursi, which is a beach chair. मेरे पास खुद की एक समुद्र तट कुर्सी है. I have my own beach chair. Ice cream is also known as ice cream. A next word is ice cream, which is also known as ice cream in Hindi. मुझे ice cream खाना बहुत पसंद है. I love eating ice cream. रेत का महल सैन कासल नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज रेत का महल रेत का महल विच मीन्स सैन कासल बच्चों को रेत का महल बनाना बहुत पसंद है किड्स लाइक टू मेक सैन कासल रेत का महल सैन कासल ज्वार टाइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज ज्वार ज्वार विच मीन्स टाइट दोपहर के समय समुद्र में ज्वार रहता है इट इज हाई टाइम टाइम ड्यूरिंग आफ्टरनून इन दी ज्वार टाइम धूप से तपन टैन मूवी वर्ड द नेक्स्ट वर्ड विच इज धूप से तपन धूप से तपन विच मीन्स टैन इन इंग्लिश उसे धूप का तपन बहुत पसंद है She likes getting tan in the sun. Snorkeling, snorkeling. A next word is snorkeling, which means snorkeling in Hindi too. Snorkeling is a very famous activity. Snorkeling is a very famous activity. Snorkeling in Hindi, snorkeling in English too. Chappal flip flop. 
The next word is chappal. Chappal which means flip flops. गर्मियों में चप्पल काफी आरामदायक होती है इन समर्स फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स आर वेरी कंफर्टेबल सो चप्पल फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स सनस्क्रीन इज नोन एज सनस्क्रीन इन हिंदी अ नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज सनस्क्रीन व्हिच इज अगेन सनस्क्रीन इन हिंदी आल्सो गर्मियों में सनस्क्रीन अनिवार्य है सनस्क्रीन्स आर मस्ट इन समर्स सो सनस्क्रीन इन हिंदी Sunscreen in English too. Samundra, sea. Our next word is samundra. Samundra, which means sea. Use samundra se bahut dar lagta hai. He is very afraid of sea. Samundra, sea. So that's all from this lesson. And these are the words which are most commonly used whenever you are going to a beach. I hope you learn all these words. I know most of the words are same in English. as well as in hindi if you like our video please click on the like button and subscribe to our channel which is hindi pod and you can also leave your valuable comments your feedbacks in the comment section you can also visit to our website which is hindipod101.com where you can find many more such lessons in hindi i'll be coming back with more hindi lessons till then stay tuned take care of yourself goodbye What's up, everyone? This is Anuj from Hindi Pod One Hundred One, the easiest, fastest, and the most fun way of learning Hindi online. In today's video, I'm going to talk about ten phrases which will help you in case of an emergency. So let's begin. Jaldi se police ko bula. Call the police immediately. Jaldi se police ko bula. Jaldi se police ko bula. call the police immediately if you're in such sort of situation where you need the help of the police you need to use this jaldi se police ko bula kya aapko bukhar hai do you have a fever next phrase is kya aapko bukhar hai kya aapko bukhar hai do you have a fever bukhar is fever so if you want to ask someone whether the person is sick then you can ask this kya aapko bukhar hai mera passport gum ho gaya hai i have lost my passport ha ah, this can be a scary situation mera passport gum ho gaya hai mera passport gum ho gaya hai i have lost my passport I hope that this doesn't happen to you but if you are in India and you have lost your password then this will be the way to convey this to someone who doesn't understand your language Mera passport gum ho gaya hai I have lost my passport Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai I think I have eaten something bad Okay If you have a stomach upset by eating local food then you can use this Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai Mujhe lag raha hai ki maine kuch galat kha liya hai I think I have eaten something bad Well if your stomach is not adaptive to spicy food oily food This might happen to you when you are traveling to India. मुझे डॉक्टर की जरूरत है. I need a doctor. Another phrase is मुझे डॉक्टर की जरूरत है. मुझे डॉक्टर की जरूरत है. I need the help of a doctor. If you are sick or you need any kind of medication, you can use this phrase. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता Pool gaya hoon. I have lost the way to go back to my hotel. Okay, if you have lost the way to your hotel, then this is the way to convey it to someone else. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ. मैं अपने होटल जाने का रास्ता भूल गया हूँ. I have lost the way to go back to my hotel. क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं कैन यू हेल्प मी नदर फेज इज 
क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं कैन यू हेल्प मी इफ यू स्टक समवेयर एंड नीड सम वन हेल्प यू नीड टू से क्या आप मेरी मदद कर सकते हैं मैं को गया हूं आई एम लॉस्ट इफ यू आर लॉस्ट देन दिस इज द फेस मैं खो गया हूं मैं खो गया हूं आई एम लॉस्ट सिंपल बट इट विल बी इफेक्टिव इफ यू आर लॉस्ट इन अ फॉरन कंट्री मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे एम्बुलेंस चाहिए आई नीड एन एम्बुलेंस मुझे चोट लग गई है आई हैव इंजर्ड माई सेल्फ नदर फ्रेजेस मुझे चोट लग गई है मुझे चोट लग गई है I have injured myself. If you have met an accident, unfortunately, or anything has happened to you, then you need to use this sentence. मुझे चोट लग गई है Well, these were the phrases which you can use in case of an emergency. They will be helpful, but I wish you don't have to face any sort of situation where you need these phrases. That's all from this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learn new phrases. If you have any sort of comments, any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be back with more such videos. Till then, stay tuned. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Namaste. Want to speak real Hindi from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hindipod101.com. Today, traditional classrooms are no longer the only or even best place to learn a new language. More and more people are finding that they can easily learn a language just about anywhere they have a few minutes of spare time, including their daily commute to work. According to the US Census Bureau, the average American spends over 50 minutes a day commuting to and from work, or over 300 hours a year. But rather than simply sitting in traffic and wasting the time, you can instead use your daily commute to literally learn a new language in just a few short months. Our language learning program has specialized learning tools that you can use on your commute to and from the office to master a language in your spare time. What are some reasons traditional classroom settings just aren't the best option for most people in today's fast-paced world? Difficulty getting to and from class. Learning on someone else's schedule. Very expensive and may cost thousands of dollars to complete. Can take years to finally complete classes and learn the language. The simple truth is the traditional classroom instruction is simply not a viable option for most people in today's very fast-paced, time-starved world. Now, let's examine how you can learn a language faster, more easily, and at far less expense than traditional classes, all during your commute to work and back home again. Three reasons your daily commute can help you master a language in the next year. On average, Americans spend more than 300 hours per year commuting. During the commute to and from work, over six hours a week is completely wasted. The time isn't used to help you reach any goals or objectives. But thanks to online language learning platforms with audiobooks and other resources that you can access during your commute, you can easily transform wasted time into progress toward learning a new language. With over 300 hours available annually, your daily commute could provide you with enough time to gain significant skills in a new language each and every year. Increase your earning potential while commuting to work. How would you like to transform all those spare commuting hours each week into more money for a new car, house, or even a dream vacation? According to research, someone making $30,000 per year can boost their annual income by $600 or more per year by learning a second language. Over the course of a lifetime, that's a significant amount. How? From work-at-home translation jobs to working overseas, there are many ways to leverage your second language into more money in your bank account. So instead of wasting your precious time, you can make your commute more productive and eventually profitable. The more languages you learn, the higher your income potential. Repetition is key to mastering a new language. Not sure if it's practical to learn another language while commuting to and from work each day? Well, not only is it possible, learning in your car on the way to and from work each day can actually help you learn and master any language quickly. 
The simple truth is that repetition is absolutely vital to truly internalizing and mastering any language. So, if you listen to audiobooks or even audio lessons on your commute to work, and then repeat the same lesson on your commute home, the information is more likely to be locked in to your long-term memory. Our language learning program has been helping people learn and master language in the comfort of their home, during their daily commute, or any place they have a few spare minutes of time. Here are five features of our program that make it easy to learn a new language while commuting to and from work. First, the largest collection of audio lessons on the planet by native speaker instructors. Every single week, native speaker instructors create new audio lessons. All lessons are short, to the point, and guaranteed to improve your mastery of a language. Second, the word of the day. Simply exposing yourself to new information and vocabulary terms helps increase your fluency and mastery of your target language. So every single day, check out the word of the day and memorize it during your commute. It's a quick and easy way to boost your vocabulary every day. Third, daily dose mini lessons. Have a short commute to work but still want to make progress towards learning more than just vocabulary? Not a problem. Our daily dose mini lessons are one minute or less and are designed to improve your grammar, conversations, and pronunciation. Fourth, all content is available on a convenient mobile app. You don't need a PC or tablet to learn during your daily commute. Instead, all of our lessons, tools, and resources are available 24-7 via our mobile app. That means you can access all of our audio lessons and other tools during your commute to work or anytime you have a few spare minutes. Fifth, audiobooks and other supplemental resources. In addition to the world's largest online collection of HD audio lessons, our language learning program has audiobooks to enhance your understanding and make it more convenient than ever to learn a language during your commute. The average commute time of most Americans is over 300 hours each year, and it's the perfect opportunity to learn and master a new language. Use the dead time during your daily commute to learn a new language and potentially boost your lifetime earnings. Whatever your motivation, our language learning program has the tools and resources necessary to help you learn a new language each year during your commute to and from work. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! In this series, we're going to learn basic Hindi expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Hindi. There are only two sentences you need to know. Namaste. Mera naam Prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Hi, my name is Prerna. Nice to meet you. Start by saying Namaste. Then say Mera naam. Then your name. And then say Hey. Please repeat after me. Namaste. Mera naam. Prerna hai. Finally, say Aap. Se milkar khushi hui. Together we have Namaste. Mera naam prerna hai. Aap se milkar khushi hui. Let's take a closer look at the first sentence. The first word is Namaste. Namaste in Hindi is equivalent to hello, which can be used at any time of the day. Next is Mera. The word Mera means my. This is a way to refer to yourself, which can be used by both men and women. Next, we have Naam. The word Naam means name. Then you say your name. And finally, we have He. He is attached to the end of the sentence and literally means to exist. In the first sentence, we have the construction Mera plus Naam plus your name plus He. The structure of simple Hindi sentences is different from English. In Hindi, the word order is subject, object, verb. The second sentence we have is Aap se milkar khushi hui. Aap se milkar khushi hui can be used by both men and women. It means nice to meet you. It's used when meeting someone for the first time. 
आप से मिलकर खुशी हुई आप से मिलकर खुशी हुई नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर प्रेरणा पॉइंट्स इंडियन पीपल डोंट जनरली शेक हैंड्स यू आर बेटर ऑफ यूजिंग द नमस्ते जेस्टर हाउ एवर इन अ बिजनेस सिचुएशन यू माइट वॉन्ट टू यूज अ हैंड शेक शेकिंग हैंड्स इज मोर कॉमन इन बिग सिटीज वे वेस्टर्न कस्टम्स आर मोर फेमिलियर इन द लास्ट लेसन we learned how to introduce ourselves in hindi in this lesson we are going to learn how to use good manners when we thank people kya aap taiyar hain are you ready to chaliye shuru kare so let's begin there are several ways to thank someone but let's start with the easiest it's just one word dhanyawad 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 means thank you you can emphasize dhanyawad by adding bahut which means very much so it becomes bahut dhanyawad bahut dhanyawad in hindi there are other ways to express one's gratitude dhanyawad comes from sanskrit and it sounds quite formal that's why some people prefer to use urdu expressions which are felt to be more colloquial a more colloquial expression for thank you in hindi is shukriya Shukriya can also be preceded by bahut which means very much bahut shukriya bahut shukriya so now you have learned how to say thank you in hindi but how will you reply if someone else says thank you to you in hindi your welcome is sometimes expressed as swagat hai the expression swagat hai means welcome swagat hai You can also respond to someone who has thanked you by using another expression. This is koi baat nahi, which literally means it's nothing. Koi baat nahi. So, when someone says dhanyawad to you, you can simply reply with swagat hai or koi baat nahi. Now it's time for prerna's points. Just as with the expressions for thank you and please, Indians do not always use You welcome in everyday situations. It's a concept literally translated from English. Native speakers often show politeness simply by using polite pronouns and verb forms while speaking. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying dhanyawad. In this lesson, we learn some of the most common greetings used in India. Kya aap taiyar hain? Are you ready? To chaliye shuru kare. So, let's begin. Let's start with a greeting you are sure to have heard before. Namaste. This is a word that is so closely associated with India and Indian culture that it has become famous all over the world. Namaste. Namaste. The word namaste is made out of two Sanskrit words, nama and te, which have been joined to mean I salute you. We use namaste as a formal as well as a friendly greeting. It's used when people meet at any time of the day morning noon or evening A slightly more formal variation on namaste which you may or may not have heard before is namaskar Namaskar Use this and you'll surely impress your Indian friends In Hindi using different greetings for each time of the day is not very common When talking with friends we usually just use the English phrases but there are equivalent hindi versions they are just not used that often if you meet someone before noon you can say suprabhat suprabhat for later in the day you can say shubh sandhya shubh sandhya but for most of the time you can just say namaste and not worry about it as we learn in this lesson namaste can mean both hello and goodbye However, this is not the only way of saying goodbye in Hindi. A parting expression that we can use for all occasions is fir milenge, which means see you. Fir milenge. Fir milenge. The first word fir means again and the second word milenge means we will meet. Let's look at one more expression. Alvida Alvida is an Urdu word which means goodbye. Alvida. It is an appropriate choice when parting for a long time. Now, it's time for Prerna's points. The easiest way of saying your goodbyes in Hindi is by using namaste. 
take a slight bow with folded hands and say namaste namaste and namaskar both come from sanskrit and mean something like i honor you or i bow to you in the last lesson we learned the most common forms of greeting in hindi do you remember them in this lesson we are going to learn a very useful phrase do you speak english if you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in english this phrase can be a life saver and because you are asking it in hindi you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying even if their answer is no let's start with a formal expression first though we need to make a note that in hindi verbs change depending on the number and gender of the noun so when asking a man if he speaks english you would say kya aap angrezi bolte hain kya aap angrezi bolte hain but to ask a woman if she speaks english you'd say kya aap angrezi bolti hain kya aap angrezi bolti hain let's have a closer look at this sentence by breaking it down kya kya is a question marker which comes at the beginning of the sentence next is aap aap means you This is the respectful word for you and is used in formal situations. You should always use it with people you don't know or with elders. Next we have Angrezi. Angrezi means English. Next is Bolte. Bolte means to speak. It is used when the subject is masculine. We use Bolti when the subject is feminine. And finally, He. He is the sentence ending particle used with a formal you once more for man it's kya aap angrezi bolte hain kya aap angrezi bolte hain and for women kya aap angrezi bolti hain kya aap angrezi bolti hain we are now going to make the sentence informal first we need to use the informal version of you which is tum If we change the word for you we will also change the sentence ending particle to ho everything else stays the same when speaking to younger people it's acceptable to use the informal form in which case you will say kya tum angrezi bolte ho to ask a young man or a boy or kya tum angrezi bolti ho to ask a young woman or a girl again for a boy kya tum angrezi bolte ho and for a girl kya tum angrezi bolti ho the responses you will receive could be one of these three ha yes ha thodi bahut a little thodi bahut nahi no i don't nahi now let's review one more time to ask a man in a formal situation if he knows english we would say kya aap angrezi bolte hain to ask a woman in a formal situation if she knows english we would say kya aap angrezi bolti hain to ask a man in an informal situation if he knows english we would say kya tum angrezi bolte ho to ask a woman in an informal situation if she knows english we would say kya tum angrezi bolti ho Now it's time for Prerna's points. India was once for a long time part of the British Empire and so today English is one of the national languages of India. When visiting tourist areas you are sure to meet many people who can communicate with you in English. Still a large part of the population can't understand English and you can never go wrong if you learn the local language. In this lesson we are going to learn how to apologize in Hindi. There are a number of ways to apologize but in a formal situation you should use maaf kijiye maaf kijiye the first word maaf literally means forgive and kijiye is a polite form of the verb meaning please do thus this expression actually means something like forgive me please now let's hear it again maaf kijiye You use maaf kijiye when you might have said or done something offensive, wrong or embarrassing. Sometimes you'll also hear people say kshama kijiye. 
क्षमा कीजिए दिस मीन्स प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी और आई एम सॉरी इन हिंदी वी हैव मैनी सिनेम्स फॉर अ सिंगल एक्सप्रेशन यूजली अ मोर कलोकियल उर्दू फॉर्म एंड अ संस्कृत फॉर्म विच इज यूज इन मोर फॉर्मल सिचुएशन दिस इज द केस विद आई एम सॉरी एज वेल माफ कीजिए इज द उर्दू फॉर्म एंड द करस्पॉन्डिंग संस्कृत फॉर्म इन हिंदी इज क्षमा कीजिए The informal way to say "I am sorry" is "maaf karo," "maaf karo." Similarly, we could also say "shama karo," "shama karo." Let's review. "Maaf kijiye" or "shama kijiye" is a formal "I am sorry" or "excuse me." "Maaf karo" or "shama karo" is the informal "I am sorry" or "excuse me." These are all versatile phrases with a few different meanings depending on the situation. Whether you are trying to get someone's attention for a question or making your way through a crowded area or apologizing for stepping on someone's foot, these are all phrases you could use. Now, what if someone says "maaf kijiye" or "shama kijiye" to you after having done something wrong? How would you respond? In this case, you could say कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं दिस मीन्स समथिंग लाइक इट डजेंट मैटर कोई बात नहीं नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर प्रेरणास पॉइंट्स इफ समन बम्स इन टू यू ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स इन इंडिया डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एन एक्सक्यूज मी स्पेशली इन द बिग सिटीज बिग क्राउड्स आर वेरी कॉमन एंड सो इज बम्पिंग इन टू इच अदर इंडियंस आर यूजली वेरी फ्रेंडली पीपल but this does not seem like something worthy of an apology unless someone pushes you over so hard you fall on the ground keep walking when learning a new language we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination discouragement or failure but don't panic with a good strategy you'll be able to overcome these difficulties are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners number 1 optimize your time When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number 2. Consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number 3, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number 4, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step by step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. When learning a new language, everyone should have an ultimate goal to work towards. Whether you want to be able to connect with a relative, easily order food while traveling, or go somewhere new, having an end goal for your learning can be very motivating. A popular but challenging goal is being able to speak like a native speaker. It's difficult to measure exactly when you reach this goal, and it's not something you can pick up using textbooks alone. So, how do you work on making your speech more natural? That's what we're going to look at today. Here are three tips to help you practice talking like a native speaker. Number 1. Focus on vocabulary. If your goal is to speak like a native, you might be really focused on speaking quickly or using as many complex grammar patterns as possible. But in our native languages, we're not always trying to speak as fast as possible, and we use complex grammar patterns when necessary, not to show off. 
Vocabulary, however, is extremely important to expressing ourselves naturally. Your choice of words can reveal a lot about you and your understanding of the language. Most learners have had the experience of using a phrasebook or a dictionary to find a word they want to use, trying the word in conversation, and getting a look of confusion from the native speaker. In some cases, although your word choice may be grammatically correct, the word may be inappropriate for the situation or totally unnatural. This is especially important in business and other formal situations, where the right level of formality and professionalism is key. Being able to understand nuances in vocabulary words can also help you understand relationships between people just by listening to the conversation. Try to listen to many different types of conversations. Listen to how people talk to their friends, their superiors, and in customer service situations. This will give you a better idea of how to talk to others naturally. In some languages, you can omit words from sentences or use more direct communication styles. It's important to be aware of these things so you can apply them yourself. Colloquialisms and slang are also commonly used in most languages. As this sort of vocabulary is always evolving, it can be difficult to keep up with the latest words. Talk with native speakers and consume media in your target language to make sure you pick up these kinds of expressions. Media is a great resource for your learning. Ultimately, knowing the appropriate vocabulary to use for each situation will really help you sound more knowledgeable. Number two, perfect your accent. With every language, there are unique pronunciation and intonation challenges. Some languages are tonal languages, and a change in pitch can completely change the meaning of a word. Then there's the fact that most countries have multiple dialects, and so people from one area of the country may sound different from those in another. So what is the best way to listen to a wide range of accents and different pronunciations? Video and audio resources are a great way to do this. YouTube is a perfect place to start because people from all kinds of different backgrounds upload videos to the platform. You can watch educational videos, daily life vlogs, cooking shows, a travel series, whatever interests you. Pay attention to the different ways people speak. Everyone is unique. And then practice speaking like them. This kind of practice can help you sound more natural. One note, please be aware of the type of resources you're using. For example, if you find a video where a speaker uses a rare dialect, it might not be a good idea to use that for your pronunciation practice, unless you have a special reason for studying a specific accent. As a general rule, it's best to try to search for practice resources that use a standard form of the language you're studying. Number three, copy what you hear. Do you remember how you learned to speak as a child? We rarely learned new words just listening to them or reading after we learned how. When we were little kids, we imitated the sounds we heard by repeating the sounds out loud. While you're talking to a friend, watching videos, or listening to audio in your target language, you can do this to try and replicate the way they speak. Doing this will help you work on mastering the flow of the language, your accent, intonation, and pronunciation. Of course, you might also pick up some new vocabulary this way. Make sure to repeat new words often. It's a great way to make sure you remember them. Try doing this using a number of different mediums and sources. That way, you'll be exposed to the diversity that the language offers and master the fundamentals of pronunciation. For example, you can watch and imitate several different YouTube videos and audio CDs, but try a few different sources, like different creators or different audio types, to make sure you experience a wide range of communication in your target language. If you're using our language learning program, you can even get your own teacher with Premium Plus. Your teacher can answer questions, give assignments, and even listen to your recordings and give you advice on pronunciation. Completing these kinds of lessons with a native teacher can really boost your confidence in your speaking skills. Becoming able to speak like a native is a popular goal for many people learning a new language. It feels great to be able to communicate smoothly, especially when the people you're talking to expect basic level sentences or broken communication. Try using the tips we've shared in this video to work on improving your speaking skills. Of course, it'll take time and persistence, but the reward will be more natural communication. And for even more tips on speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye!
Want to know how to improve your listening and speaking skills, be able to save conversations, listen to them as many times as you want, and learn hundreds of practical everyday conversations? Well, there is an easy way to do this. In this video, we'll go over how to speak more using the dialogue track. So, what is the dialogue track? The dialogue track is an audio track with just the conversation from the lesson. It's only about 10 to 30 seconds long. Let's say you're looking at a five minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word, so you know what it all means. That's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation. Here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you can quickly review the conversation without re-listening to the lesson. The dialogue track is just 10 to 30 seconds long, so it won't take you very long to cover both new and old information. This makes it perfect for a quick review of what you've just learned, and it helps keep it fresh in your brain. Second, you'll remember the conversations easier. Listen on repeat, like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Third, you'll speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. For example, conversations like catching up with friends, ordering at a restaurant, talking about your family, introducing yourself, and much, much more. Fourth, you improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. So imagine you've finished 20 lessons and you've downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. You can create a playlist and play those 20 tracks and get used to the language and immerse yourself. To recap what we just learned, here's what you do to make the most of the dialogue tracks. First, after you finish a lesson, download the dialogue track. Save it to your computer or phone so you can listen to it on repeat whenever possible. Just replace three to 15 minutes of music listening for some language review. Next, if you've finished 20 lessons, you should have 20 dialogue tracks. Use those to create a playlist of these dialogue tracks so that you can listen to all kinds of conversations. And finally, try shadowing the conversations that you hear. This will become super easy once you've heard the conversation enough times. But if you're still struggling with a word or two, go back to the lesson and check the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation to find the words you need to practice. Boost your speaking skills with the dialogue track and check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speak your target language with confidence and impress native speakers? When learning to speak a new language, you have lots of things to think about, including grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Because you're thinking of all of these things and trying to speak, it can be difficult to communicate with confidence, especially in the beginning. This is why it's helpful to make confidence building exercises part of your language learning process. In this video, you'll learn seven ways to boost your confidence. One, read out loud. This might seem pretty basic, but it's a great way to practice speaking. Reading aloud lets you practice speaking without having to think about grammar or things to talk about. Reading out loud lets you focus on your pronunciation and the rhythm of the language. It can help you learn to speak more smoothly and quickly without even thinking about it. If you're using our lessons, read the dialogue out loud as you listen. You can read along with the dialogue tool, the lesson notes, or the transcript. Two, read like a child. This might sound strange, but think about children learning to read. They go slow and sound everything out. Maybe it takes two or three tries before they read a new word smoothly, and a few more tries before they can read it at a natural pace. This example applies to language learning too. If you find a complex sentence in something you're reading, read it slowly at first, then speed up. With practice, you'll be able to say it easily. It might feel a bit silly to speak very slowly, but this kind of practice can help you identify tough sounds you might miss or say incorrectly when reading quickly. Three, use the dialogue breakdown tool. If you're using our site, this is a great tool to take advantage of. 
it breaks down lesson conversations into individual lines. You can listen to the audio for each line, learn what each line means, and can reread and review as much as you want. Four, use the voice recorder to record and compare yourself with native speakers. Just click on the microphone icon next to each line in the dialogue section. You can use this tool to perfect your pronunciation if you like, but this is also something you can use to work on speaking with confidence at native level speed. You'll find this tool in the dialogue section of all of our lessons. Five, repeat and review old lesson conversations. Reviewing what you've studied in the past is the best way to make sure you maintain what you've learned. Go back to older lessons, download the lesson dialogue tracks, and re-listen to the conversations again and again. Or you can reread the dialogue lines from previous lessons until you've mastered them all. Six, shadow conversations. Repeat what you hear out loud. This tactic is important, but it can be tricky when you're doing a brand new lesson. If you're reviewing dialogues from lessons you've done know, it's super easy to do. Just listen to the dialogue and repeat what you hear. Shadowing means mimicking the speaker as soon as they speak, following their intonation and rhythms as closely as possible. Seven, send recordings to your Premium Plus teacher. If you wanna speak with confidence, there's no better confidence boost than feedback from a native speaker. And you get just that with a Premium Plus teacher. You can record yourself reciting a lesson dialogue or any dialogue of your own, and your teacher will give you specific tips on how to improve. From the tips your teacher gives you, choose at least one and practice, practice, practice. Being able to react quickly and with confidence in a conversation is typically not something you can do on your first try, but if you continue practicing, you'll gradually find yourself speaking with ease. And for even more ways to build your speaking confidence, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. When you start out learning a foreign language, everything is exciting. You pick up new words and basic phrases fairly quickly. The first time you say a greeting or answer the question, how are you, you might even get a little thrill. Speaking fluently doesn't feel that far off. And at this point, it really does seem like language learning isn't all that difficult. But after a week or two, things begin to change. After a few weeks of study, you start to hit walls as you're faced with strange grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation. Everything about learning a new language seemed promising and hopeful before, but now you start to realize how difficult it's going to be. Speaking the language now feels like a long, far-off goal that you may or may not achieve one day. But don't let the innocence of being an absolute beginner or the disillusionment of being an experienced learner discourage you from learning. Speaking a new language may not be as far off as you thought. In this video, we'll look at three tips to help you practice your speaking skills, no matter what level you're at. Number one, practice with native speakers. Practicing with native speakers is by far one of the most effective things you can do to improve your speaking abilities. Think of speaking a foreign language as riding a bike. After a certain point, you can't read or theorize about how to do it. You have to actually do it. If you can practice speaking with native speakers who correct you and give good feedback, then you'll be well on your way to improving your speaking. But where can you find native speakers to practice with? If you live in or near a major city, there's a good chance there are some native speakers there. You might even get lucky and discover an entire community. Do a little research into the demographics of your city, or simply keep your eyes open the next time you go through town. You can also attend a language exchange or cultural event. Meetup is a site for local enthusiast groups, and there are usually some language-speaking clubs or cultural clubs there. If you're unable to find native speakers where you live, then jump online and find them there. There are a lot of free online exchanges that allow you to connect with other language learners from all over the globe via text, audio, or video chat. Look for a speaker who is learning your native language. You can spend an hour or so helping each other in your respective target languages. This is a highly practical and helpful way to learn. It's also a great way to learn more directly about the culture you're studying in a real way. Number two, devote some time to learning pronunciation. 
Pronunciation often isn't the first skill people think of working on when learning a foreign language, but that doesn't mean that it isn't important. Truth be told, you don't absolutely need a great accent to speak or understand every language. However, a decent accent can vastly improve your listening and speaking abilities in ways you might not expect. Being able to pronounce words and sounds makes it a lot easier for you to remember and understand new words simply by hearing them. If you can physically make a sound with your mouth, then you can mentally remember it. Once you have a good accent, the new language won't sound as foreign as it once did, and you'll be able to understand rapid speech, as well as pick up the definition of new words based on their conversational context. But how can you improve your accent? If you're serious about developing your accent, then you'll want to dissect the language's sound system into its individual parts. First by letters, then individual words, followed by whole phrases. Start doing some mild research on the phonetics of your target language. You don't have to get too technical here. Just try to get an idea of some of the main differences between it and your native language. Find out where native speakers usually put their tongue while saying certain sounds. Or pay attention to the shape of their mouths when they speak. Is it open or closed? These subtle differences are what really help you improve. Once you get the letters down, start listening to native audio and compare your pronunciation to the native speakers. Our language learning program's playback feature is a great way to accomplish this. Take a phrase from a lesson and start by practicing the individual words, playing the audio back at a slower speed and then again at a regular speed. After comparing your speech to the audio, combine the words to make complete phrases, imitating the intonation of the native speakers. This precise method of pronunciation practice is one of the most efficient and effective ways to learn pronunciation. Number three, imitate, don't just repeat. Anytime you speak, do your best to imitate the native speakers you've heard and practice with. Match the way their intonation rises and falls. Pay attention to their word order. It's even a good idea to match some of their body language. This degree of imitation will probably feel weird at first, but it reinforces fluency in the language and breaks you out of the parrot trap where you simply learn and speak through rote memorization or repetition. This is a common problem that's often cited with other less effective language learning methods. Speaking a language is like playing music or dancing. You don't wanna just know it. You wanna live in the moment and feel it as you use it. You don't sit and think of what you're going to say in your native language before you say it. Why would you expect to do the same in a new one? Don't let ruffled expectations make you think that speaking a new language is impossible. Yes, it's difficult, but it probably isn't as difficult as you think it is. With a little determination and some faithful practice, you might be surprised how quick and how far you can progress. Use these tips to better practice the language and see real results in your speaking abilities. And for even more ways to practice your speaking, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.